Hello everyone. Bye Gaston. Welcome back for another reaction. My name is Sean. My name is Ed. And today we are back with another reaction video, this time reacting to Armenia's entry for Eurovision 2024. Armenia last year was my number one. Mm -hmm. Out of every single song. How do you rate Brunette? So not as highly, yes. For me, Armenia and Eurovision was absolutely incredible from when they started until the mid 2010s. And then they started taking it very seriously. And mm -hmm. I had a lot of respect for them. They did it very well. They didn't go to Swedish songwriters. But for me, they peaked with their upbeat song. And in June Eurovision, they peaked with their upbeat song. So I'm assuming it's another single girl. I'm assuming it's going to be another kind of mid-tempo, artsy thing, which could be good, which could be good. But I would love some ethno pop because they were so good. Right. I have no bad words about Armenia last year because Burnett was sensationale and she was, she was robbed in the final. But this year, La, Dani La Daniva, Jacko. I think, I don't know for sure, but I think it's a duo, a male, duo. Sorry for any beeps, you might hear in the background. We're in India, travelling right now. <laughs> trying to make it work, and it's, it's difficult. So we appreciate your patience with the background noise and with the upload delays. Don't be. Yeah. Sorry. It's not that bad. We're gonna take a dive. Please, Armenia. Do not let me down. I the highest done. Come on! Three, two, one. Play. Are you reading the lyrics? No. Chicken, I heard. Oh, I don't know what I was saying. It's like a lack of genres this year. Bring in the We're missing ethno. ethno. We are. Ukraine's bringing ethno, but... In a jam. In Armenia. Which is where... They call the sweet land of Armenia. I'm waiting for something other than the ethno vibe. Stunning on stage, if you know what I mean. Do you think? Oh. I can see This is gonna be colourful. I don't know what it is about her that makes me obsess with her. Mm. But it's not a song. It's not a song. It's definitely not a song. Oh, I'm so happy. I don't know if I am. I don't know if I am. Oh, it is bad. Watching all these electro beats and rock and thinking, oh, I just want a bit of heritage. Mm -hmm. And then they'll see this and they'll go, oh, wait, we have culture, we have roots. Yeah, yeah. In the UK, we don't really know what that's about because we have no culture. Correct. Like, no, it's so true. But the whole also, of Eastern Europe and plenty of Western. So Central many Europe. of the songs this year, I can after like one verse and sing you thirty seconds of the melody, and I don't think I could do that. For La, 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 la. Like, I, I don't know if it sticks out to me. 
I agree it's not that I love the vibe being like ethno, I, I love that from Armenia. But in terms of going up against like 15 other countries and being stand on and well, it's different enough, I guess, to make me want to pick up the phone, maybe if that's my vibe and that's my jam, but if it bases the grand final, I don't know about that one. As in, I want, want it to do well. Armenia As in you don't know if that will qualify. No, I think that probably will qualify because it stands out as an effort. Do you know what I wouldn't say back and, and you have a yeah, point there? It's, it's, not, cool. like, it's not got that thumping base but that makes it When it makes it to the final, how will this fare with 25 bangers with like catchy chorus I don't think. Because, but maybe but this year they're not in it for the win or trying to be, they're just doing, if, if this is like Armenian culture down to the bone and that's what they're trying to give this year, then do you know what? Fair. Like, let's not look at it as like a trying to win a competition. But that's how I'm coming into it. Kind of what we said on about catchy bangers with catchy melodies, we've got a lot of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, without any kind of trying to be pop song hook, is going to stand out like yeah. all over stood out in 2022. One, two, two. Um, I think it's good that it's not too pop because actually that might have hindered it because there's a lot of dance pop this year. Yeah. So. Yeah. That right. actually is going to be a good Working thing. Working in favour. Was that just a girl or was that a duo? The guy playing the jackal? I don't know. I think he saw a girl, but maybe it's a guy involved. I seem to think it was a <laughs> duo. <laughs> Sorry if we're mistaken. Those are our thoughts on Armenia. Let us know what you thought down below. And uh, yeah, is this going to qualify? Is this going to come top five? I think qualify, yeah. And my prediction. Out of nowhere, is it going to be 13? 12. Top 12. Okay. Mm. Let's see what happens. No Kaluti on Hayastan. What does that mean? Thank you, Amelia. Okay, say it again, say it again, say it again. No Kaluti on Hayastan. No Kaluti means something, but I can't remember what it means. No Kaluti on Hayastan. No Kaluti on Hayastan. Ciao, ciao.